place. It'll be like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. People will be trying to figure out who Fran is. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is a popular international restaurant chain with steak broiled and seasoned to perfection just the way you like it. And here are 10 truths about the popular Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Now let me dispel a few rumors so they don't fester into facts. Why, yes, the name is peculiar. Something about it makes me feel weird in the ethics. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse acquired its odd name in an interesting way. The restaurant is known for its delicious steaks and delectable accompanying side dishes. However, it is often the name of the establishment that stands out to most right off the bat. Customers may ask themselves the obvious questions of why is it called Ruth's and who exactly is Chris? So the first restaurant location was opened in New Orleans in 1965, and since then the company has expanded to over 100 locations across the world. Ruth Fertel, the founder of the steakhouse chain, may have passed away in 2002, but her legacy definitely lives on through her empire. Gone. I've never forgotten. When Ruth opened the first restaurant, it was called Chris Steakhouse already. In 1976, though, the original restaurant was engulfed in flames and destroyed. In the wake of the fire, Ruth was contractually required to maintain the name Chris Steakhouse at the original location, and so she decided to throw her name into the mix by adding Ruth's to the beginning of the restaurant's name. The new and improved name and the underdog story didn't hurt business at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and and it is now one of the most renowned steakhouses worldwide. I know how to build a business. It's that signature sizzle. That's my boy, that's my star. When you go to Ruth's Chris, you can expect that your steak will arrive at the table sizzling like a hot summer's day. This is the way it has always been presented to customers from the time the restaurant was founded in the 1960s. The effect is created by placing the plate with the steak on it under the broiler for approximately 60 seconds with some butter and parsley. It's actually the hot butter and parsley that melts and creates the signature sizzle that customers have come to know and love for decades. Although this may sound simple, the process is actually a little trickier than customers may think. It's an art, not a science. A customer developed an infrared broiler and helped Ruth's Chris with getting that signature sizzle just right. With an education in chemistry, Ruth was well aware of the importance of high temperatures for this process, and so she made sure that the new broiler could reach temperatures of 1800 degrees. This custom-made broiler was able to cook the steaks at a super hot temperature and help ensure that nice and world-renowned loud sizzle sound. The saying goes, you sell the sizzle not the steak. But it seems as though at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, the steak sells the sizzle. It's why we need each other. Free food. Well, occasionally. Yeah. Nothing is better than free food! Everyone loves free stuff. Even celebrities love getting free swag at industry events. Eating for free at a restaurant, however, is a nice change of pace. This is even more true at a relatively pricey spot like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Well, at Ruth's Chris, if your name is Chris, you get a free 8-ounce petite filet, and it literally has your name on it. But what if your parents named you any of the other thousands of names in the baby dictionary instead? It's not as exciting exciting for the rest of us non-Chris named individuals who still have to pay for our steaks. Discrimination is a scourge, Stewie. Most customers would probably like to see a promotion that's a little more inclusive to other restaurant goers. Perhaps an even better example of an eat for free promotion took place at all Ruth's Chris locations across North Carolina. The graduating class of 2019 was treated to a free three course meal off of the Ruth's Chris seasonal classics menu. Although as can be expected, there was fine print with this promotion. The free meal promotion was actually contingent on someone else ordering a meal at full price first, but still, this is a better, and not to mention broader, promotion than the Chris-only one. I'm a marketing genius. <laughs> All-female staff roster. This is a sleepover, buddy. No boys allowed. 
Ruth Fertel herself was a single mom as she worked her way to owning a restaurant, and she wanted to hire other single mothers out there to help them out. This business decision ultimately went against the conventions of the day, but Fertel was committed to doing what was best for her and other single women with children. For a while, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse was the only upscale restaurant in New Orleans that had all-female servers, and since its original location was on Broad Street, it didn't take long for the staff to be become known as the Broads on Broad Street. Witty. Hilarious. While Ruth was motivated by her urgency to help single mothers in need of employment, this business strategy likely provided some tremendous local buzz that helped to fill the tables with patrons. Even after Fertel passed away, the Ruth's Chris chain continued to celebrate her unique legacy. In 2017, the steakhouse announced a special Mother's Day menu, extended hours, and a gift for moms who dined at the restaurant over Mother's Day weekend. Ruth truly valued other women and their contributions to her successful business, making this definitely one of the more inspiring truths about Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Would you like some creamed spinach? Spinach, liver, and tripe. Creamed and spinach are not two words that always cause a stir of excitement when placed side by side. But believe it or not, creamed spinach is just like Ron Burgundy at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I'm kind of a big deal. This dish is one of the more popular sides. However, the recipe for the coveted side dish is in fact a secret because Ruth never revealed where she got the recipe. Ruth's son, however, may have spilled the beans, or in this case the spinach, to a New Orleans magazine when he alleged that the famed creamed spinach was originally created by his great uncle, but he was never given credit for it. My identity was stolen. His identity was stolen. <laughs> According to Ruth's loose-lipped son, his mother didn't want customers to know the truth about the creamed spinach recipe because she wanted people to believe the recipe was hers all along. However, Ruth never commented about this version of events, so we only have the son's words to go on to help us unravel this mystery. Irrespective of its origin story, the creamed spinach is a restaurant fave amongst customers. More spinach for Papa! You can expect quality beef every time. Every second of every hour of every day. People are willing to spend a lot of their hard-earned cash at restaurants like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse because they love steak. A steakhouse's reputation has generally got a lot to do with how good the steak is, so these restaurants have to make sure they don't drop the ball on their star dish. Ruth's Chris has always gone out of its way to get the top quality cuts of beef for its customers. First class all the way. Ruth's Chris only uses prime cuts of beef. Exquisite. They think of it like a luxury. It's not a luxury. Because of this attention to the highest quality meats, Ruth's Chris's steak is usually going to taste better than most of the steak you would buy at your local supermarket. A place like Ruth's Chris knows how to season and prepare the meat to achieve the best possible product that will have your taste buds thanking you in song. Ruth's Chris Steakhouse's meat is cooked meticulously to customer satisfaction, and the results are always worth it. We never miss more than just steak. It's about so much more. Ruth's Chris is more than just steak. It's so much more. Yes, the sizzling beef may be Ruth's Chris's main attraction, but that doesn't mean that it's the only act in the show. If steak isn't your fave, or you're just not in the mood that day, then try a variety of other meats on the menu, such as chicken, lamb, fish, shrimp, or lobster. Not in the mood for meat? No problem. There's always ravioli for those who are craving a little something Italian. Just as with any top steakhouse, Ruth's Chris offers its version of surf and turf with roasted Chateaubriand and lobster tails. Oh, lobster, 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 you are delicious. Mm. Once you decide on your main dish, you can choose from a number of delicious sides, including mouth-watering salads, cheesy mashed potatoes, lobster mac and cheese, and of course, the famous creamed spinach. If you've managed to save room for dessert, Ruth's Chris offers a select Collection of decadent desserts to choose from. You can order chocolate sin cake, creme brulee, cheesecake, or bread pudding to cap off this dinner of dreams. See, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is more than just steak. It has a full menu to be experienced. A whole virtual universe. Steak for a good cause. A thousand good deeds. 
When disaster strikes, just as it did with Hurricane Betsy in 1965, access to food can become very limited for many. In the wake of the destruction of Hurricane Betsy in New Orleans, Ruth's Chris came to the aid of the local community. Ruth's new restaurant managed to avoid the worst of the destruction, but the power went out, so the meat was going to spoil. So Ruth decided to make the most of the situation and cook the steaks in order to give them to people in need. It was 100% the right thing to do, but it was also strategic marketing because it was good publicity, generating many new customers that in the end became loyal to Ruth's Chris. Such a smart plan. Cruel fate would strike again in 2005 with the arrival of Hurricane Katrina. However, this time around, Ruth's Chris wasn't as fortunate with damage to its restaurants and company headquarters. Because of the damage, the headquarters was permanently moved from Louisiana to Florida. Even though HQ moved, the steakhouses were eventually reopened in Louisiana so customers could once again enjoy the steaks and sides they had come to know and love. Although some may have tried, not even a hurricane can take down Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I'm unstoppable! From single mom to business empress. There she is. Heavens, what a transformation. Going from a struggling single mom to the head of a steakhouse empire known worldwide is definitely a success story. If you love steak, then you've probably heard of Ruth's Chris Steakhouses. However, you may not know much about the woman at the center of it all. Ruth Fertel originally had a successful career at Tulane University, but she decided to leave the relative security of the college campus to try her hand in the highly competitive and risky restaurant business. She bravely took out a mortgage on her house to buy the original restaurant that launched her dreams into reality. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Her first day as a steakhouse owner was a modest success with the sale of 35 steaks for about $5 each. Despite this modest beginning, the steakhouse soon saw success and started bringing in way more than Ruth would have been earning at Tulane. For a long time, Fertel only had the one restaurant location in New Orleans, but she credits a particularly loyal customer for convincing her to start franchising her steakhouse business. She opened a location in Baton Rouge, partly so the customer in question wouldn't have to travel all the way to New Orleans to get his favorite steak. So sweet! It would seem as though Ruth Ruth was led by her heart, and it worked out for her in business. Are you sure this is the right direction? Failure first, global domination second. Never give up. Yes. Like many in the restaurant biz, the original owner of Chris Steakhouse experienced his share of failures. And then Ruth was able to turn things around and use that very same location to make her dreams come true. Chris Matalich opened the original Steakhouse in New Orleans in 1927. This was a modest eatery that could seat less than 60 people and didn't even have its own customer parking lot. The horror. Matalich never made too much of a go of the place and ended up selling it to try and get back the money he had sunk into the restaurant. After it sold, six other people tried to make the restaurant a success, but nothing worked. It's crazy. No, it's just bad luck. And then, Matalich even bought his restaurant back several years later to give the steakhouse another try. But the second time around was not such a charm, and the business unfortunately failed yet again. The fate of the unsuccessful restaurant was in doubt for decades until Ruth Fertel risked it all, taking out a mortgage on her house in 1965 and buying the troubled and seemingly cursed property. With no restaurant experience in her tool belt, she taught herself the business on the fly and the rest is steak history. I am like Superman. Stick around, leave a comment, tap or click another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.